Hmm? Hello? Oh my gosh, it's you. W wow, hey, how are you? Well, I'm glad to hear that you're in good health. And, wow, you remember my number. <laughs> After all this time. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the last time we talked, we, uh, we left things on a odd note, you know? I didn't want it to be that way. Hmm? Am I busy tonight? Are you inviting me out somewhere, or do I have to guess? <laughs> no, no, I'm just teasing you. But seriously, you want to see me again? <sighs> okay, if you insist, tell me when and where. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Well, well, well. Look at you. You look good, Hunter. <laughs> oh, but where's my compliment? Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't get dressed this good just for anybody. <laughs> so, um, um, hi. Can you hug me? Yes. Yes, you can. <sighs> I... I can't believe this. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I'm just thinking out loud. Oh, jeez. You want to know? Well, for starters, I can't believe you're standing here in front of me. It's been... It's been some time since we had last seen each other. Yes, I know. I know. Which brings me back to the question that is on my mind right now. Hunter, please. I, I know you missed me, and I hate to admit this. I miss you too. But, <clears throat> I'm getting off point. I have to know now instead of later. Why have you come back? <laughs> Can't you just visit your old vampire flame? <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. Always the joker. But, stop it. You're deflecting with humor and you haven't answered my question. Why are you here? Listen, as I understood our relationship, that we are from two differing worlds. I tried to make things easier the last time we talked. I told you that you had to face reality. I am undead, and you are mortal, but not also a mortal, but a hunter who slays others like me, good, bad, or neutral. What I mean is, look at us. How could we possibly work? That is the main reason why I tried to stay out of your life. To try to make things easier for you. I'm, I'm not a part of your world. What? What did you just say? You, you put your foot down against your superiors? What? But I don't understand. They've been in your world for so long. Why? I changed your mind. About immortals? About monsters? About me? I find that hard to believe. I'm sure they said that you were bewitched by a monster, altered your mind, made you my thrall, and all other, I'm sure, not so pleasant comments. Hmm. 
You told them that you didn't care what they thought anymore. Well, this is a lot to take in. Hunter, I surely hope you know what you're doing. What do I mean? Well, first of all, they may hunt you in order to kill whatever supernatural or other creatures you may be protecting. Yes, my dear, even me. They could get to you by hurting me. And this is why I tried to make things easier. I wanted you to forget me. To just, just forget everything that happened between us. I'll get back to my usual happenings and you go back to your world. Being a part of your family. <laughs> I'm your family now. Oh my gosh, the things you say. Do I remember the signet ring? Yes, I remember. Hell, we even went to your late sister's burial site to get hers. Uh, what? You, you want me to have it? But this is, this is priceless. You worked so hard, I mean, well, I was there to help you get this back. But you want me to keep it. So, if in case you can't protect me, the ring will. Oh my gosh, what is happening tonight? <laughs> I, I can't believe you've done all this. I have to ask again. Why? <laughs> love. You love me? <sighs> I had forgotten what love is. Or what it meant. I told you about my ex-lover. And it was his doing into why I am the vampire you see in front of you. He hurt me. So bad taking away my humanity and forcing me into this, well, life. <laughs> I'm more to you than that. Well, I feel that now. Thank you. But would, would you like to stay with me? Trust me, I'd feel a bit safer if you were around. <laughs> Deal. But before we leave, I love you. I was afraid to say it then, but I'll say it now. I love you, Hunter. Let's, let's go home.